niggas know my pyroclastic flow. You niggas know my pyroclastic flow. flow, flow. You niggas know my pyroclastic flow. It's R A W, R A W. You're looking at the Grand Wizard, Warlord, vocal cords so vicious. And I don't have to show riches to pull up, pull off with some bad bitches. And it ain't about chivalry, it's about dope lyrics and delivery. It's about my persona, ain't nothing like a man that can do what he wanna. Ain't nothing like a man that you knew on the corner. See him come up and fuck up the owner. See him throw up Westside California. Nigga, I'm hot as Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Utah, I got multiple bitches, it's a new law. Keep a hold of your riches, dumb nigga, don't spin it. As soon as you get it, and recognize I'm a captain, you a lieutenant. I can say what I wanna say, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. Made me do it. If I call you a nigga, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. I can act like an animal, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. Made me do it. If I eat you like a cannibal, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. I'm raw as a dirty needle, choke a eagle, just to feed all my people. Lyrically, I'm so lethal. Plant thoughts in they mind just to defeat you. Ice Cube is a saga. Y'all spit saliva and I spit lava. I got the fearless flow. Don't get near this home if you scared to go. I keep it gangster. And why should I change that? Fuck you old motherfuckers trying to change say rap. What, say what? But ain't you the same cat that sat back when they brought cocaine say back? What, say what? I'm trying to get me a Maybach. How you motherfuckers gonna tell me don't say that? You the ones that we learned it from. I heard nigga back in 1971. So, once again, thank God for weed. Now, folks. To keep the balance among humanity, strange as it may seem, oftentimes candidates tell the truth. Politician. Trump booed over 9 11 comments. He said, How did he keep us safe when the World Trade Center went down? And he started booing. Did I miss something? Obviously the people that were booing were not informed that obviously they were informed that they had prior knowledge about the fucking attack. Many chances to kill the supposed target Bin Laden. And another fallacy we can put to bed while we're right here. But Osama Bin Laden died in January of 2002 with the CIA next to his bedside debriefing him because he was a CIA agent. I'm sorry, a CIA asset. And Tim Osman In Dubai, I believe. They put his body on ice to roll out at a time of their choosing. Barack Obama chose a time of his choosing. And I will inform you, by the way, it is not Islamic or Muslim or any other culture to bury someone at sea. Unless you're a fucking pirate. Now, every New Yorker knows damn well the crux of this story. Yes or no? Answer is yes. Now, Donald Trump would be a fucking New Yorker and come out Fucking spill the beans. I 
I wouldn't say I would vote for him, but that would take some major balls. And I don't see anybody up there with any balls. In fact, Michelle probably has the biggest balls of them all. Donald Trump was repeatedly booed by the GOP and he criticized W. Yeah, look, he says, I lost hundreds of friends. The World Trade Center went down during the reign of George Bush. He kept us safe? That's not safe. Especially when you know of an attack like that ahead of time. How many fucking people in government and other people, mayors, were told to stay the night before? Or even a week before? From one night before to a week before, a bunch of people in government, city officials, were told to stay out of the fucking city. Hello? And listen, I'm gonna beat this down your fucking throat until you fucking get it because it's the truth. Until you go and research every fucking single fact to figure it out yourself. No planes hit the building. Those were holograms. Number one aviation expert in history confirms it, okay? So I don't need shit from you. Um, along with at least 1,100 other people, and all together on this 9-11 deal that the government was involved, it's about 19, it's over 19,000 researchers, scientists, demolition experts, construction experts, you fucking name it, toilet fucking experts, okay? have come out with the truth. How many times did they fuck up on this thing? Uh, I remember the very first time, fucking Bush. Oh yeah, I remember I saw the first plane hit the tower. What do you mean you saw the first plane hit the tower? You were reading a fucking book when the second one hit. I mean, the, hey, I'm telling you right now, um, and I, I've been researching it for a while. Uh, you know, I, I did videos about clones and shit. I, I think it's safe to say George W. Bush is a clone. Okay, now, I heard this story years ago. And I, I got it in the other videos where I talk about clones. George W. Bush died in 1988. The first president to be cloned was Jimmy Carter. That is a fact. Ronald Reagan, after he was shot, he died. He did not survive. That was a clone because they wanted him to sign the papers, retracting the bill that he was signing in, and he wouldn't do it. So, he didn't make it to the hospital. He cloned. And, uh, there's been one person inside the cabinet since before Eisenhower. One. George H. W. Bush. 
getting the fucking message. Once you run for president, you can't have a member of your family run for president. I would assume that would mean especially your son's son's son son. You were supposed to have another job. You are not a career politician. You're a mechanic. You're a, a garbage pickup guy. You're a car dealer. Until you get elected into office to become that entity, that's what you are. Once that ends, you go back to your boring, meaningless, fucking worthless job. End of story. What did I miss? Why are these people in fucking Congress and Senate for 30, 40 fucking years? Get about, what, 50 grand a congressman? 150 maybe? Oh, whatever it is. Nancy Pelosi. Oh, Dianne Feinstein. Great example. Worth absolutely fucking toilet paper when she went in there. One year later, had over $50 million in her bank account. Whoa! They must have just, by accident, added a couple extra zeros. Two point nine trillion or two point three trillion dollars went missing from the Pentagon the day before nine eleven, September the tenth. Donald Rumsfeld gave the fucking press conference you can watch on YouTube. Or he said two point three we can't account for two point three trillion dollars. I have no idea where it is. What a coincidence. The part of the Pentagon that housed those records to show where the money did go was the section of the Pentagon that was hit with a missile and caught flames. This guy right here is a piece of shit. This guy's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Don't you say anything about Alex, he's another piece of shit. Just another one right there. Another one. Just everywhere you look. Bunch of shit. Now just by scanning through InfoWars here. I didn't even read anything. I learned two things though. This entire page is promoting nothing, well not promoting, but it's showing nothing but Hillary and Trump stories. Now, I want you folks to think about this. 
Hillary is a Democrat. Trump is a Republican. What do they keep telling you, folks? They keep telling you we need one a one world religion. We need a one world everything. Hello? One world. The agenda is to have one fucking man in charge of planet Earth. Of every fucking country in the world. Which then he will manifest himself as the Antichrist. Which then, the shit's really gonna hit the fan. People got no I wanna know why people bust my balls over the stuff that you can find out the quickest and is the easiest to figure out. But the shit like, I was expecting people to bust my balls about the fucking space shit. No. Not one fucking comment. There's fucking people all over this flat earth thing. That's it for now. God bless and carry on. Ugh.